Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today is day 44, season 2 selection video. So this afternoon we have the Defender, Cattle Trailer and the Honda Quad parked up. The Yard Scraper there. Roller and Keenan in the shed. Uh, Buck Grab, Turn the Bucket, uh, Buck Grab Oil Tank, Gator, T6175 and the Tyler parked up. In the shed, the uh, Trail Forager, uh, the Class Rebailer, uh, John Doe Bear Rapper, Class Rake, uh, Coon Mower, KTM Dirt Bike and Lawnmower all in there. Uh, the Golf, uh, Farm Sons Golf has just been parked in there. No particular reason, just uh, just for the time being really. Um, doesn't really have to be inside, but uh, I guess he's just parked in there for now. Then we have the new Holland 7740 parked up on the uh, double axle i uh flatbed trailer. So that's uh, just been parked there ever since uh, we took the digger to the job. Um, didn't really need to be put back, um, it wasn't in the way there, so we just uh, sort of left it there I guess. Uh, we will move obviously, um, but for now it's just been sort of left there. Um, but I don't think we need to get to anything in this shed. Maybe the golf, but we could probably reverse it through there. But it would be easier to move the trap there, but I don't think we need to. So uh, what we tend to do is just put stuff in front of the sheds and stuff. And then uh, when we're not busy doing other things, we like towards the end of the night uh, or evening, we stop start putting things away and stuff. Um, yeah, so not a bad tractor on the trailer, pull the main digger, uh, no struggle at all. Um, so definitely will be used for many jobs with the mini digger and with anything small. In the shed, we have the two masses, part up 6616 and 5612. Spearhead edge cutter and the Coon Fairlands spider in the back there. Uh, the Mini Digger JCB piled up after being uh, dropped off from the trailer from the job. Uh, Herbs Dump Trailer, New Harmony Bailer, uh, from the Double Bailer uh, Sheets off the pit, pit size there, uh, uh, Master size trailer, bale trailer, and the uh, first cut uh, grass bales. And here we have the farmer's son in the John Deere 6920S. Uh, he's just coming into the yard with a uh, John Deere 990 baler. So if uh, you may or may not remember, but we do own this. Uh, it's just too big for our uh, fields. Um, it's more of a sort of arable farm kind of baler. Um, so it's just sort of been uh, left at the other farm. Um, and I say left, but they are using it, um, but we did buy it in the first place, but we give it to them because they make more bales than us. And the class in here is a perfect size bomb, whereas this is a bit big, especially for the fields we have now. So uh, they need somewhere to store it for now, so uh, we're just keeping it here until they're uh, ready to take, uh, to take it back. So he's just coming into the yard there, a bit big, it looks like. Uh, for the 6920S, but she's pulling it, no bother. Then in the sheep field, uh, got all the using lambs, enjoying themselves, chickens, chicks, ducks and ducklings over here. And then we have the disco parked up on the sheep trailer. And then we've got the main man himself, the farmer, shutting the uh, sort of uh, ramp there. And we are separating this lamb here from its mum. Um, so. We have decided that a couple of lambs, especially this one, are getting quite big. Uh, this one's quite a skittish ewe, so should be enough. Uh, that one's kind of skit, uh, skittish. These were the first flock we had. Um, I think it's about six or seven of them. Uh, and then we sort of just expanded from there, really. Uh, but they've always been skittish, um, so it was a bit harder to get them. So, and obviously, Farmer Summer's doing so now because we didn't have any help. Uh, but he's got that, this uh, one lamb now, so that'll go to the farm, uh, or might go in with the meg lambs, uh, we don't know, but for now it'll go to the other farm, um, and we'll be separated, so it's quite a big lamb, um, uh, taken to the other farm, because that's where we have our 
weighing scales um, because we don't have one here uh, we see a farm's one because our one was rusty and the, the wooden panelling was uh, rotten so we're in the need for a new one um, but we're using this for now and we think this one will be a perfect weight uh, at some point soon uh, to be uh, sort of sold off um, and doesn't need too much more grass which leaves a lot more grass for the rest of the lambs so that lamb is being separated from his mum there um, she probably won't mind um, obviously she'll be a bit uncomfortable kind of because she's been with a lamb for a couple of months and now separated uh, but she should be fine um, but yeah so he's just doing that there we were supposed to do it at some point anyway so we've just uh, just the one lamb for now and once the others grow up we'll do the same for them then we've got all the cows and calves in the field here enjoying themselves and the maglans there they're not too big they're actually getting quite big now um, we stopped bottle feeding them I think we bottle feed them for a month, month and a half after they were let out so probably about April time we stopped obviously it hasn't been good weather uh, we have been tempted to bring the cows in too fair because the wet weather uh, hasn't been the best um, destroy the field so any more uh, bad or wet weather then we're going to have to bring them in because it's getting too close to well this month we're doing second cut bales so we need to get them in and have the field not looking a mess really so yeah, uh, a couple of things going on, uh, hopefully in the next couple of videos there'll be some uh, other things going on uh, around the farm. And then down the lane uh, we've got a Mint uh, Ford 6600 with a class size trailer. Uh, I don't think he'll be doing size in this weather, but I'll probably be uh, taking it down to uh, uh, get it cleaned off uh, at the practice station. Uh, I don't know, he might have a brush wash of his own, but he's heading down the lane there. Uh, looks basically identical to ours, uh, but it isn't ours because ours is at the other farm. Uh, but it's kind of a classic sort of setup. And then following behind, we have a disco with a uh, guy around there, coming back from the TT. Uh, not been a really good TT, if I'm being honest. But I hope he enjoyed himself. So yeah, so for the guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and bye.